This is the 20,000 lumen rechargeable flashlight from Banral. Now Banral did send over these flashlights for the creation of this video. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at them. All right, now taking a closer look at the packaging for these flashlights, it comes in a nice like semi-rigid container here with a nice zipper closure mechanism here on the sides. We'll get that opened up and take a look at the flashlights and included accessories inside. Now, both of these come wrapped in bubble wrap, but I've obviously gotten this one opened up because I've already taken a look at this flashlight and used it. So we're gonna set this one to the side, but we have the other flashlight here wrapped up. We're gonna leave it like that because I wanna cover some of the additional accessories that come along with this flashlight. Now, in addition to the internal rechargeable battery, you get two of these smaller battery adapters. That way you can utilize standard AAA batteries in one of these flashlights. So if you wanted to put three AAAs into this adapter and then put it into the body of the flashlight instead of that rechargeable flash or rechargeable battery that's inside, you can definitely do that as well. So if you run out of, of juice in the rechargeable one and need to just use some standard AAA batteries, you can definitely do that. Now, this kit also comes with two USB type A to type C cables. That is to charge the internal rechargeable battery on the flashlight. Now, this flashlight also comes with a handy instruction manual. And you might be thinking to yourself, why do I need an instruction manual for a flashlight? Well, this is not just an on and off flashlight. This has multiple modes. And what you can do is read over this and it gives you some information regarding those modes, the charging and batteries as well. Um, I really found it informational when I was learning to use this flashlight. All right, now let's take a closer look at the flashlight itself and let's start at the business end. That is the single LED capable of putting out up to 20,000 lumens of light. And with this lens here, you are able to project that beam of light up to 1500 meters away. And the way you're gonna do that is by pulling out on this lens itself. That allows that beam to tighten up and really focus in on what is in the distance. Now, if you want to get a wider um, cone of light, you can simply slide that back and that's going to spread out that beam of light for you. Really handy metal construction here as well. Nice and sturdy, but really lightweight as well. You've got a lot of protection around that lens and the LED inside and really just sturdy construction here. Nothing about this feels flimsy um, or, um, you know, makes me worried about using this. Now, We've got a little LCD screen here that I'm gonna show you in just a minute when we turn this on. And that shows the percentage of battery left on the internal battery. Um, and also shows a little green charging light when it is charging, which is very uh, handy. Now you have the power button here, which is used to not only turn on and off the uh, flashlight itself, but you can also cycle through the multiple modes available on this flashlight, which we'll get into here in a minute. Now the body here has a nice blue and black construction here. Nice size for your hand, really fits the hand quite well, as you can see here. Um, and down towards the bottom here, we have the removable battery cover and component. And then we have a nice wrist strap here that can go around your wrist. You can adjust that with this, uh, you know, a little adjustment device here. You can also use this little clip to unclip and separate it from the leash itself here. Now, in order to get into this um, body of the flashlight to take a closer look at that battery and either take the removable one out and replace it or put the um, AAA adapter in here, we simply unscrew the bottom of this flashlight. And you can see that battery inside. Now, this is a 3000 milliamp hour battery at 3.7 volts. Now, taking a closer look at the back of the flashlight, we do have this rubber cover here with the USB symbol, and we simply lift this tab up and we gain access to a type C and type A port. Now that type C port is for charging the internal rechargeable battery, and that's where that included USB type C cable will come in handy. Now, the type A cable or the type A port is actually utilized to be able to charge things like a cell phone. So you can actually use this as a portable battery bank as well, which is really helpful in those um, outdoors needs when you don't have access to standard wall power. 
And then to put this back on, we simply place the rubber uh, cover in place and push it in. Now, in order to utilize the multiple modes of this flashlight, you do need to turn it on and switch to that other mode pretty quickly after you have turned it on. Because once you have it in a certain mode, if you press that power button again, it is going to turn the flashlight off. So for example, I'm going to power this on and by default, it's at full brightness. If I press again, we're going to go to a dimmed version. You can see the glow dimmed. If I press it again, we're gonna get that strobe. One more time gets an SOS flash and then one more time it is going to turn it off. Now the nice thing about that SOS flash is that it does do the SOS pattern automatically for you, which is really handy. So if I press it one more time, we're going to turn off. As you can see here, they're super easy to cycle through all of those use options. All right, now this wouldn't be a flashlight review without showing you how it works out in the dark. So I've got the flashlight here. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Now this is going to be in the brightest setting here. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Now, as you can see there, this is a huge field of view with this default setting on the lens. Now, if I pull the lens forward on it, you'll see that the image shrinks and I get a much finer beam of light. You can actually see that beam of light uh, out here in the atmosphere. So you can make that larger as you pull that lens further back and you get a wider view again of the uh, lit up area. All right, now I wanna show you some of the other lighting modes with this flashlight. So I'm gonna turn it on and it's gonna be in that brightest setting. Then the next setting I'm gonna show you is the little bit dimmer mode. And then we're gonna go over to the strobing and then the SOS signal. So let's go ahead and turn this on. As you can see here, it's the full brightness. If I tap that power button again, it drops it down to a 50% brightness. Then I tap it again, and it's gonna do that strobing mode. One more time, and it's going to do the SOS pattern. Now, it'll do that whole pattern for you, so if you're out in the wilderness or stranded and need to signal for SOS, it can do it automatically for you. Then if I press power one more time, it's just going to turn the flashlight off again. Now, I think if you're looking for a really bright and rechargeable set of flashlights, this one is definitely worth checking out. Now, as always, I've got a link to this two pack of flashlights in the description below. Be sure to check that link out if you're interested in picking these up for yourself.